All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are here to talk a little bit of CCG and uh, specifically kind of uh, those of you that have taken uh, different research studies from, from us and whatnot, we really appreciate it. We've been bringing you a few tidbits from that research and things that we've been learning. And then we had a chance here recently to have some of our research and this, this entire data-driven approach that we're taking to things really manifest itself because we had the first ever wonders of the first CCG play test that we did in public blind people coming in off the street had no idea what the game was before they sat down with it and you know we talked about this in other in other videos that we've produced but I am an absolute data driven maximalist like I believe that you have to utilize data and I believe that the most important data to utilize is sentiment data and how people feel um, people are really good at telling mm -hmm. you how they feel. They're really good at telling you when there's a problem with something and those things can ultimately lead to some really good decisions. And so when we were putting this game together, massive amounts of data to understand different pieces of it. And there was one in particular for me, Fish, and I know that, I know you want to talk about some specific things that landed well in the play test, but there was one in particular for me that I just took a tremendous amount of pride in and not for myself, but for the team as a whole we we as we began to understand different ways that that people perceive games one of the things that was really interesting when you looked at tabletop on the boards board game side and then look at tabletop on the ccg side was that tactile enjoyment that you have on the board game side which you mm -hmm. know that's also something that those things don't tend to be collectible as yeah. much and it's it's not as much of the value driver that you have on a ccg so you have to be really careful with it you don't want to turn a ccg into a board game for sure. That is definitely not what you want to do. However, right. when you look at most CCGs where you're just sitting here counting down a damage counter or whatever to, to ultimate victory or defeat, you don't have anything tactile there. And one of the things for me from the play test that I just loved to see was how people resonated with the stones. So in Wonders of the First, it's a right. seven zone game. And in each zone, you're trying to cap, cap, capture and hold stones and there's it, it, you so you could gain a stone someone else could take it back stones give you extra energy in your your round turn session and so but it was just the the smile on faces when people would reach across and grab those stones was just man it was so awesome and and that was a data-driven decision ultimately making it into what we were doing just by understanding some mindset there and, and i was really really happy to see that come through so yeah and what what was really interesting being there the whole time really interesting is actually our data told us one thing and we paid attention to it and then actually seeing it in real life the correlation right. to what that means what that means is pretty simple people were had the biggest smiles and they kept moving the stones in their hands in between games they couldn't stop touching it in fact and i'm not just doing it for this video i actually have the stones and I play with these all the time at my desk. I'm a bad I'm fidgeter, so I don't actually have any of those sitting on my desk, but if I did, I would fidget with them too. So, um, yeah, so if we just jump really quick into a little bit about, I, I do want to tell folks kind of how the play test went. Um, I want to bring the design team in. They're just so busy. It's hard to get them actually into a recording right now. So, uh, but I will say that our, our lead, Brian Tinsman, you know, his experience at Magic the Gathering and Pokemon and other places, he's been in a lot of play tests. He's looked through a lot of one-way mirrors and all those sort of things. And, and this is not his first rodeo. And he pulled me over to the side at one point and he said, I'll paraphrase here. He says, Jeff, this is amazing. This is going incredibly well. The fact that no one has left here and they're playing over and over yeah. again. And there's so few questions. He says, this, this normally doesn't happen because I didn't really have a great feel for it. And again, I can't wait for him to say some of that himself and the rest of the team, but fish, you also were there and you saw that as well. I know you were actually recording how long people were playing. And then you basically, we were just like, you know, we don't need to record that anymore. Yeah. The answer is they're playing as long as they can stay. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, nobody, this is a, one of the really interesting facts for me. Nobody played once and left. I right. thought that was impossible, honestly, because um, you got to remember what you said in the beginning is really important. People didn't know that this was going to happen for the most part. And if they did, it was only a couple of days because of a little poster in the store. So these are all people not even like hyped up about our wonders of the first ccg game right and they all just yeah, stayed no, it was forever. great and I, I can't wait for the uh for the design team to just unpack some more of the nuances of it i don't really want to front run them on everything but i did want to at least 
get a video out where we just let everyone know that this happened and uh and how how good it it went from our seat and uh, you don't have to take our word for it if you want to hop into the discord server discord.gg slash wonders otf yeah. you can talk to people that were at the play test there was i think it was around 70 ish people yeah. that came through i don't it's it, somewhere in that ballpark yep. and a lot of them have found yeah, their way into right that there. discord um we've got other play testers that are in there that are playing it like with 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 untap they're playing it you know in tact tactile as well um but fish you want to hit maybe just a few more of the takeaways that people had from the play test you were you were definitely in the trenches yeah. doing exit interviews and that sort of thing so you were you you have a lot of firsthand information right. from the play test i mean what are some other things that you saw um some of the other stuff is they asked so many people ask questions now you assume that's going to happen. But what I found really, really uh, encouraging is people would ask questions, play the game, and then ask a little bit more in-depth questions, play the game, and then do strategy questions, play the game. So they, they had levels of questions that just um, essentially evolved, which is great. Another one that is actually what I've told you earlier, I think is really important is, I assume there'd be frustrations. Hey, it's our first, our first one for the public, first play testing. We're still in the beta, although we're almost done. Um, what it showed to me is no frustrations from anyone. It showed that play testing by the team, design team internally was really knocked out of this world. Like they did so much play testing. They took so much feedback from the community. They did everything they could to make sure that it was a game, even though it was our first play testing that was going to run smooth. And then the fundamental concepts and engine that ran our game, the Wonders, so it's, it's behind Wonders CCG, is so sound that you didn't get people frustrated about it. Yeah, it just I don't know if you actually know this or not, but you know the team is actually leveraging AI for gameplay, like to run power balancing, not to mention just with Brian's obvious experience and the people that wow. he put around him with these highly competitive players, but there's, there's, they're actually utilizing AI as well in card balancing to make sure AI takes a much more just straight mathematical approach, but it does help with overall card balancing. And I think a lot of that shined through it, it shined through people really, really yeah. loved it. And so, um, I hope as you notice from the other stuff we talked about, I'm not necessarily here. I'm not trying to shill anybody. I certainly would love everyone to play our game, but I did want to cut a quick video, give some flowers to the design team. I can't wait to get them in front of the camera more. Uh, they're just, we got we got some print deadlines and stuff up and their time is better sent, spent right now in the seat working than it is uh, out here with people like me and fish that are just, uh, you know, we, we don't really have a whole lot more value we bring other than cutting these videos. Not all we do. So, uh, you know, fish is uh, super valuable. I can't speak for myself, but the it's just something that we're super, super excited about. We're super excited how that play test landed. We can't wait to teach you, tell you more and more about it. And we hope you're going to maybe fall in love with wonders just just to the slightest degree that we are, because it is a true labor of love. And I think it's a very special project. It's a very unique game uh, in how it's played. It's It's got a tactile element that mm -hmm. the market is absolutely loving, loving. I had to give the factory a estimate on Stone's production this morning. And we're using a lot of data to, to oh, really? estimate that. And when I told them the number, they were like, that's for that. You mean that's for, all the stones and i said no that's per stone i need that many and so you know they were surprised we're 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 swinging for the fences here and the data says that uh that we got a really good chance to connect so fish any other quick points about the play testing uh again i know that it's best for yeah. the design team to speak to a lot of this but versus saying nothing i did want to at least at least have a couple of us get out here and, and at least tell folks that it happened uh, and, and let everyone know that it's going well. And we've got yeah. a lot more amazing stuff that'll be coming. We've got a lot more data to share with you from the, from the study. The study is still ongoing and, uh, really still continuing to unpack some amazing things. And if you haven't seen those videos, you can look back on our YouTube and you can find, uh, some of that other data that fish and I unpacked anything else here, fish related to the game test. Yeah. I want to leave with this. So I did a bunch of exit interviews with people and it was totally open-ended. What do they want to say? There was one quote that stood out to me, which is a person said, the only thing I regret and didn't like about this game is that I can't play it more right now. Yep. And I was like, that's just, that's amazing. Like the number one regret they had is they wanted to yeah, go home and play it's more. It's really an amazing feeling. We had someone who is a fairly, as what I've been able to understand so far does 
uh, influencer work in different channels. He fell so in love with the game. He's already starting like his own influencer channel just for Wonders of the First. Like just, and he was just in the play test. When I look at the amount of people that leaned in and as a, how aggressively they leaned in just from that one play test, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of wild. And then the Discord is, is just, you know, it's growing every yeah. day. There's more and more momentum building. And I think it's going to be something that's going to going to shake the space up. And I think if people just take some time and do a little deep dive here into what we're doing, I think they're going to find some really interesting and exciting things under the hood. So thanks so much for tuning into this. Uh, yeah. Again, we'll be coming back with uh, more data. We'll be coming back uh, along and along with more information about the development cycle of Wonders of the First. And uh, we really and truly appreciate everyone being here. And uh, we'll see you next time.